I want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. From my family to yours. Let's look at a Bible quote in Luke. Luke 2, verses 8 through 11. And let's make it modern and practical for your life today. It begins, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Many people have said that they feel like a shepherd, keeping watch over their flock. Look at the nurses and the doctors that are working unbelievable hours to to protect their flock and do their best during this pandemic. I had a man one time say that he felt like a shepherd watching over his convenience store at 11 p.m. and keeping track of the safety of his employees. I've had people say that they feel like they're a shepherd keeping watch over their flock no matter what they're doing. Many people at home feel like a shepherd keeping watch over their flock on their stock portfolios or their investments. They feel like they are keeping watch and they have to do all that they can do with their human ability and their human mind and their human eyes. Now I go on. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And the next four words are very important, and they were terrified. Here is the greatest thing that could happen in a lifetime, and it terrifies you. Do you know that I have seen this in ministry over and over and over again? When a person has an offer of a big promotion at work, when they have a, a, a college accept them that, and a, a career path, instead of realizing that the glory of the Lord is shining all around them and within them, they're terrified. They just don't feel up to what they need to do. And they have fear. Many times our lives are defined by our fear, not by our faith. We have to be honest about this. <clears throat> Human mind tends to have great fear. And we go through our days with apprehension. No, we're just waiting for the next big thing to happen. That's negative thinking, and you're here to learn positive thinking. You're here to learn faith. And when you have faith, you're not terrified. You realize when a spiritual experience is happening inside of you, when the glory of the Lord shines within you. The light of God comes into your mind. Well, what does that mean to have the Lord shine upon you? Perhaps you don't have a clue on what to do next. Perhaps you are doing a project. You don't have a, a slightest idea how to make it a success. And all of a sudden, you go into prayer or you have just an aha experience, which is also God. And that is the light of God coming into the darkness of your human mind. And again, you will be afraid. You'll think, oh, gee, you know, go to somebody else. I can't do that. I'm not up to this task. Yes, you are. Otherwise, God wouldn't have told you God wouldn't have brought the light to you. You are up to this task. And the angel of the Lord said to them, Be not afraid. Well, that is God's message to you this Christmas. Be not afraid. 
Be not afraid. Cast out fear. Have faith instead. It says, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. See, this is not just for some. It is for all people. It's not for a, a flock that attends a certain church. It is for all people. It is for people that believe like you do or believe slightly different. But we all have the same God. And God responds to us with an accepting love. And God tells us, please, please, please don't be afraid. It goes on. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. You know, people talk about the second coming. I pray that the second coming comes in you right now. The second coming can be the message of Jesus Christ in you, lighting you up from your darkness that you happen to be in, giving you a new path forward, giving you new hope, giving you new faith, and you know it's not you. Something has been born inside of you that is alive in you, and it is changing you forever. You have a second life. You've been saved from the disastrous path that you may have been on. I pray this Christmas that this Christmas message comes alive in you. And I pray that this is a magical time for you and in you. Amen.